Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode where you get to hang out with me on Let's Roll Out. Today, you get to experience with me my first MCAR. <laughs> now, I want to ask the question. How many of you can tell what car this is? I've given you a little preview. You've heard a little bit of the sound. Now, before you do that, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and then get down into the comment section and tell us what you think this car is. Please don't cheat. Be fair. Pretend there's a teacher over your shoulder as you do your test. Thanks for joining me here, guys, and we're going to be taking a look at this, my first MCAR. Welcome to the BMW M6. Now you see I'm the type of guy that I like something special and I don't like to be like every See, like I said before, I could have gotten an M car which could have been the M3, the M4, the M5, but they don't seem to hold that special place in my heart. You see, for everyone, they have their vehicle that they just loved and I remember when this car was introduced back in 2012. I looked at the lines and I looked at how muscular it was and that presence from the front. Like, can you see what I'm talking about? Like, it's so aggressive, it's so mean and it looks so low. And this was the color that I fell in love with. Looking at it from the outside, it was just so amazing. And you know, sometimes we gotta take a moment to truly appreciate the, the San Marino blue. At night, it looks so dark and so rich, and it depends on the angle when you look at it. In the daytime, as the sun is shining right now, it just has a glowing effect. The BMW M6. Now, from the front of this car, it made such a powerful statement. But I wanted to take a look from the side because like, like I said before, the sun is shining and there's something about the San Marino blue that just, that is just so magnificent. It is just so stunning to the eyes. You see, because I like a car that is just, it cannot be like the everyday vehicle. I, I want something special. And this car seems to embody everything that I've ever wanted in my first M car. Like, for instance, when we take a look at the lines that are flowing off that M badge coming down the side, and this line that flows from the front right towards the back, it just gives it such an aggressive appearance. The low roof line make it seem so long and low to the ground even more. On the top, we've got carbon fiber, of course keeping the weight low even though it is so heavy but trust me we've got enough power to move this baby and do it well we'll get into that a little bit later but i'm the kind of guy that don't like to do upgrades to his vehicle but for this car it seems like it needs a few things you know on the back carbon fiber spoiler is coming on the front we've got the black grills coming on the lower lip, we've got carbon fiber coming as well. So I want to have that complete appearance of just a car that is beautiful, yet so mean. Are we done? No, we haven't gotten inside yet. Let's go take a look to see what that's like. See, this is the place where I'll be spending most of my time. So 
it is absolutely so important that in here be the best for most they'll have like a generic color like black or some other color but for me it has to again invite me in and when i get inside it has to keep me look at the interior of this car it has the combination of black and silver stone it all depends on where you may look at it it seems white sometimes it is just so stunning inside of here we have the san san marino blue outside with silver stone and black inside the car has been complemented by the bang and olsen sound system i am still a young guy just like a lot of you i like to enjoy my music so ha, we're gonna be comfortable and having a lot of fun inside this cabin we have the best leathers from bmw full merino leather and the two-tone the stitching that flows on this car and i love the way the lines of the silverstone flows off of the dash and along the center console to me it makes this car looks so stunning the carbon fiber bits everywhere we've got the m sport steering wheel and i still have to do another upgrade when it comes to this because i've ordered the extensions for the paddle shifters now while you enjoy the corners you want to downshift or upshift your gears to me these are just a little bit too short i want them longer i think after that then i'll be done with all my possible upgrades you see in the front of us we've got that 4.4 liter twin turbo v8 with those turbos sitting in the v and it's looking ah, so nice this car is the ultimate package again because i like something different if you don't know what the ultimate package is it's a special option that bmw has given to its m6 owners it comes equipped with the competition package you know what that means 600 horsepower going to the back wheels <laughs> Did I say I like a special car? This is one. Should we take it for a drive? <laughs> it is three degrees outside and it's not perfect for these 20 inch Pirelli P0s that are on this car. But does it mean that we shouldn't? <laughs> of course, we're going to go for a drive, guys. Let's roll out. We've got the M settings, of course. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> There is so much power in this car. Drifting it comes so easily. <laughs> now this motor gives you a healthy 516 foot-pounds of torque. Does it light up the back tires? Lighting up the back tires is an understatement. And while it might be nice for me to do that and show you guys, <laughs> these Pirelli P0s are not cheap so hey three degrees we'll be dancing but let's reserve that for now of course it's an M car so you have all the settings for how much you would like your gear shifts to be how aggressive how tight you would like your steering and your suspensions as well now I have the 650 Grand Coupe as well and what I can tell you it surprised me to see that this the M6 the ride quality is better than the 650 Grand Coupe now if you can afford it hey 
Go get yourself an M6, why not? The other aspect that I really loved about this car is that BMW will not be making another one. So you stand to have that unique <laughs> the back <laughs> with every simple touch of the gas, like I just pulled away from the stop sign and oh, the back wheels are just lighting up. <laughs> wow. This will be my occasional car and it's so important that smiles <laughs> must always be there it is so important that when I get inside and I must feel at home and when I get out of it I must feel as though I want to do it again I can say right now I don't think that will be a problem is it safe to say that this car would be fun <laughs> I have this car a little uh, for a short while now and I can tell you I came up with every single reason in the book of why I should go drive it with this amount of power available to you restraint is a must it is absolutely so important or else you'll lose your license very quickly now It'd be nice to go into the twisties and have a ball back there, but I don't think it's safe to do that. Next summer, I promise, we will. What I am gonna do though, I'll take it for just a tiny burst on the highway, just to get a little bit of an acceleration for you guys at home. Once again, thank you for joining me here on Let's Roll Out. Now here we go, acceleration in an M6 Ultimate. Oh God, stop! <laughs> it is safe to say that I love my license and just like that, should I tell you how fast it was going? <laughs> Guys, I thank you so much for coming and experiencing my first M car with me today. It is absolutely always a pleasure to have you guys and our channel has been growing. Now we've hit 2,000 subscribers and I wanted to put the challenge out there. We would like to get to 3,000 in the next two months. So by the end of February, if you think we deserve it, hit that subscribe button and join us every week as we bring you a new show. My name is Elton Felix and it has been another beautiful day with you guys. Thank you for your time. Let's downship. <laughs> Jesus. Am I ready? I still got ways to go. <laughs> the BMW M6 Ultimate.